255 here what up what up all right in today's video we'll be talking about the top seven things that should be in final fantasy 7 remake part two all right number seven play as sephiroth they can have us play as sephiroth leading up to calm and then have us switch over to Cloud, but still give us the option of playing as Sapporoff as we go to Cloud's hometown. And it can also have added elements in this version where we explore the part of the game from Sephiroth's perspective. So instead of us just learning of what the team does while at Calm, let's learn where Sephiroth is without spoiling too much major stuff. You can just add some other things that allude to what he's going to be doing. And then we can still have those surprises when he pops up, just like in the original game. Number six, open world. The original Final Fantasy VII was an open world game, kind of, after a certain part. It really wasn't, but you certainly got that feeling, you know, after you live a certain place, and you first come to that town, and you see how big everything is, it really catches you off guard. In the open world, there can be new enemies as well as old materia and new materia hidden in places. And guess what? Why not have a bunch of new towns between Calm and a certain friend in a marshy place? In fact, if they wanted to, they got a bunch of new towns or maybe even a hidden boss. But I get that fans may not be too excited about that after Final Fantasy 7 Remake added a certain scene with certain ghosts at that uh, train graveyard. We don't want that. We want good quality stuff. Alright, number five. Side quests. That introduce more side quests like the one where we were chasing the cat. I'm joking. So, <laughs> I hated that side quest. Anyway, how about we have side quests that introduce new characters that can be added to the cast, kind of like a Vincent or a Yuffie, that don't really affect the, the main story, but like you can choose to have them. And they can even have some wild guest appearance, like why not for one side task, Noctis shows up and he joins your party for a little bit. And maybe he's an optional character. It's a very smart way for uh, Square Enix to introduce people to other Final Fantasies, to have lightning showing up, and maybe one of the guest bosses from uh, Final Fantasy XIV, right? I mean, they can get really creative with it. They have lots. Final Fantasy VII is a big enough universe where it doesn't need a lot of uh, guest appearances, but it is the Final Fantasy that put Final Fantasy on the map. So I can see why I would deserve it. Okay. Number four. Gold Sorcerer. And for the Gold Sorcerer, I want to see all the old mini games, But of course, we got to include new ones. But just like the original Gold Sorcerer that was in Final Fantasy VII, what really matters the most, what I want to actually see, is rewards like in the original where you can get Cloud's Omni Slash, and there was really strong um, accessories early in the game, like the championship belt, and different materia that you can get. So, they, Square Enix was smart. They didn't give us a bunch of games to say, all right, waste your time, good luck. No, they gave us a bunch of games, and they tied really important materia and rewards to it. And more important than that, it was accessible. It wasn't like the stuff was so hard that you couldn't do it. But I don't want any more broken boxer games that we <laughs> had to do. But yeah, bring all that stuff back. Add some new stuff. And let's not forget that some really important story elements was added at this part. Cold Sauce said it got to do that right. Number three. New spells, summons, limit breaks, and weapons. I can't wait to see what Knights of the Round Table animated is gonna look like in Final Fantasy VII Remake. They can do with the Cosmo Cannon and uh, the War of the Yen Rust, but there's so much they can do. I mean, I can't even imagine how terrifying running into a character underwater might be. 
try my best not to spoil things. But uh, we definitely need new summons and limit breaks and weapons. Not like some of those summons we saw in Final Fantasy Remake Part 1 were okay. Let's really get crazy with these. Number 2. Set up a foundation for Final Fantasy VII as an MMORPG. Now, look, hear me out. They tried to do this with um, Final Fantasy XV, and that didn't exactly turn out. But this way, we could do it different, where you could actually play the game together as friends, and they could just add DLC content. Like you could create a character and take your actual material from your actual game characters in the game and put them in. Or have your character be part of the party. I mean, I don't see... I, I forgot... I think I heard a developer said this is just rumor speak that they were prepared to write for Final Fantasy for the rest of life. If Final Fantasy 14 can be a successful MMORPG, I believe Final Fantasy 7 as a standalone game can be a pretty good standalone famous MMORPG. Okay. And now for a drum roll. Number one. Zack should play a major role in part two. Look, if they're gonna bring Zack back, hype up the ending, in my opinion, that was the most hypest part. Zack's gotta play a major role. He's gotta run into the party. He's gotta do something new, but it would be an absolute crime not to have Zack play a major role in the story. And in fact, he could be one of the hidden, well, not hidden DLC, he has to be. He should be, we should be able to play with him. Um, you know, we, we should. And he can play major parts in the story, just switch things up, have an option of playing it through Zack's point of view, kind of like Sephiroth, but there's so many options, but no matter what, Zack needs to play a major role in part two. All right, Deep Minds, uh, thank you for being here with me. Please leave a message at the bottom in the comments. What are some of the things you want to see in part two? Don't forget that on Thursday, I, I left a link um, I'll leave the same link I left on my other video uh, with the information for when it's but on Thursday, I think it's 5 p.m. PST time. Uh, we can expect a 10 minute celebration of Final Fantasy 7. That's how they're describing it, where we are hoping to see Final Fantasy 7 remake part two footage. Anyway, thanks for being part of the DeepMind community. This is DeepMind255. One, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.